And whoa, look at all the pieces. It is. Oh, the whole valve. Jeez, look at that. The whole exhaust valve, the end of it, fell off. Hello, everyone. Mike here from Motomule. Let me tell you a little bit about my youngest son and his Raptor 250 Quad. You see, he really likes his little Yamaha. He likes it a lot. The last time we took it out to the dunes here in Oregon, the engine locked up and he skidded to a stop. He was not happy. Hi guys, to, um, today what we're gonna be doing is um, fixing my quad, because last time we went riding, I kinda blew it up. <laughs> you did, you so blew it up good. Um, take the engine out, well not the whole entire engine, if we can get this one. Yeah, we're going to see if we can pull the head and cylinder off while the bottom end is st still in the frame. But, all right, so step one, we got to get the exhaust off of there, Lyle. Yep, go get the tools. I'll go, I'll oh, it. I have to go get tools? Yeah, huh, I'll honey. do it. You go get the tools. All right. So, and we're going to have to take the carburetor out just to get it out of our way. Carburetor, we need a screwdriver. Well, what what tool we need to loosen these band clamps right here? Oh um, my. Uh, I can't see from my side. What what is it's that? It's like a so the octagon thing. Hexagon? Yeah. So like a, a hex wrench, allen wrench type thing? Yeah. Okay. I'll go get one. <laughs> I know I'm filming. Yeah, I'm filming, and they're doing all the work. I get the easy part. Okay, so, oh, other way, gotta loosen it. It looks like this thing is breaking. You're just, it's just breaking loose of the, it's tight. So that's going to give us access to the cam where the sprocket on the cam and the chain on there. We have to take that off so we can pull the head off. You know what, here, if we take this off and you can just screw, use that, and it'll give you, there you go, there you go. Good job. Okay. So if we pull this bolt out of this, that sprocket can fall down, that chain could fall off, and the chain could fall all the way down the engine and we'd be in trouble. So we're going to put a zip tie around it. I got a little finger torque. Yeah, grab that into the zip tie. Your little finger is perfect for that. Yeah! Little finger it's power. A little finger power for sure. <laughs> Okay, so we just got to let that sprocket and chain because it's got to kind of pull through. Oh, I got that. Mm -hmm. I thought you needed a tiny finger power. What's this? In here. What? What's this? That's the tensioner. What's that do? It just keeps the, that chain tensioned. Whoa, look at all the pieces. It is. Oh, the whole valve. Jeez, look at that. The whole exhaust valve, the end of it, fell off. That's what was down in the cylinder. Oh. It's the whole valve itself, the whole head of it. So the damage on all these parts is just incredible. I mean, the first thing I did was take out the spark plug, and you can see how it just hammered the end of that spark plug in on itself. I <laughs> knew something was up when I did saw that. And then the head of this valve, the actual exhaust valve fell out of this head, broke off from the stem. Part of the stem is still in there. There was a little piece of that stem in the header. 
So part of it passed through, but the head fell into the cylinder and it must have, you know, hit the intake valve when it was trying to open because it actually, I'm not gonna believe this, broke the rocker arm. So rocker, the cam was spinning around, rocker arm was trying to, whoops, I got that upside down, was trying to push the intake valve down, but in between the piston and that valve was the head of that exhaust valve. So it just broke that right off. Totally crazy. If you can believe that. And there's, if you look in there, I don't know if you can see it, but it, the cam is even dented. So obviously all sorts of damage to the head. So this head is garbage. The cam is garbage. The head of the, so that valve beat the piston, you know. Surprisingly, the inside of the cylinder isn't too bad. There's some dents and stuff though. But that piston, and it's not even a stock piston, it's a Wiseco piston, so this motor's been rebuilt before. But man, it just hammered the top of that piston. Well, time to come up with a plan to fix it. I jumped online and headed over to eBay Motors. I found a new aftermarket cylinder kit and a good condition used head that was loaded with the cam and valves. I slapped it all back together and I once wild? again have a happy kid. Oh, what do you think? That's not a sound you've heard for a while, is it? Well, no, just the sound that it actually runs. How cool is that? Yeah, it needs a new sprocket and chain and a new air filter. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.